Good morning, this is Brandon. It is Tuesday, January 12th. Uh, two trades to show you today, um, but before I get into that, I just wanted to mention uh, on my video yesterday, uh, Mr. Pat from Trick Trades actually stopped by the channel, posted a comment uh, on my red day yesterday. So that was cool. Um, it was. Uh, it's always nice to get a little bit of um, recognition or, or just to get a little little uh, confidence booster or a little consolation for my red day yesterday. So that was cool. Check. Be sure to check that out. Um, and that's you know that's my experience with Pat. Um, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of, of his personality and the way that he communicates. But underneath all the rough and gruff uh, exterior, um, he really he really does care about um, the success of his members, uh, and that comes through. That comes through every day. <laughs> In sometimes a rough, you know, foul language type of rant ranting way it comes through but it does come through and it's you know it's it's a testament to uh or or it explains a lot about why he's uh running the service that he does he doesn't have to he's a very very successful very huge profit hugely profitable um day trader there's absolutely no need for him to have this business um and for him to take the time and, and experience the aggravation sometimes for him to teach us how to uh, day trade this strategy. So, um, yeah, I, 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 you know, I've said it every, pretty much every video. I think Trick Trades is a fantastic service, um, and you definitely should join us if you have uh, interest in learning how to, really learning how to day trade the markets consistently, profitably. Um, from uh, from an absolute real professional professional uh, day trader. So that being said, <clears throat> the main trade I took today, I did I did trade smaller size as as Pat recommended on the comment uh, yesterday, um, and I took this trade on AMD. There was actually a, a higher level from the pre market plan of attack at ninety seven twenty five. Um, and, but I didn't trade that level actually could have been a, a, a small, uh, profitable scalp, um, 9725 here, this would not have violated the standard risk. And there was a nice little pop here. So that definitely could, uh, could have been a green, um, scalp trade somewhat short lived. And, uh, but I traded, I, I traded sort of between the two levels and then certainly added on as price came down into the level and um, sort of explored our standard risk below the level. But the level uh, that I traded was the 9640. And again, these levels are provided uh, before the market opens uh, in the pre-market plan of attack. Uh, so I traded this level and Here's my trades. So I bought the first contract at 842. Right here, as it was dipping down, getting close to that level. Uh, I bought a second contract at 846. Right here, as again, it was dipping down, getting closer to that level. Um, this may have been, yeah, this was two separate purchases during the uh, <clears throat> 847 candle. So here, as it was finally actually touching that level, um, and we did obviously get a quick bounce here. It only went up, not even, um, came close, but didn't even touch the uh, 20 EMA, I think is what that yellow line is. Uh, so I took two contracts off. So I had four contracts, took two of them off on that pop at 849. So right here. Um, so I was green on that trade at that point, um, 260, 248 and 237. And I got out of half the position at 263. So definitely green. Um, but then it started dropping more 
Uh, so not a big deal. We had our standard risk to protect us. That is a key part of the trick trades strategy. That standard risk uh, really helps you uh, manage the trade, helps you to add on to the trade, helps you to know when the trade isn't working and you need to get out. So that's your risk level. Um, and as I explained yesterday, one of the best parts of trading within that standard risk is you can add on to the position um, for for a smaller and smaller cost basis so your overall average cost basis is is getting lower and lower and uh, assuming it doesn't violate that standard risk uh, such as AMD right here um, then when it does start to reverse uh, it's very easy to get profitable on that trade and um you know and, and close out close out the trade for profits so okay so then i had uh four contracts sold to so i had two um and then here at 852 right there as it was invading the standard risk box bought another contract um, and then here at 854 um, so it was uh, it was showing signs of of finding a bottom so I added I added back in I actually got a, a better price so that was interesting uh, added on for 216 and then added one more so back to four contracts um, and then we got this pop right here again up to the 20 EMA so I only took one contract off that that time uh, at 857 so probably yep right there um, and then so took it off for 225 got it back here uh, at 901 for 204 so right there so right after that red close um, I hit the market by just one contract so back up to four <clears throat> um, and you know this is typical for AMD I've said it before if it's down in the morning um, a lot of times it'll base like this and it'll spend anywhere from 20 to 120 minutes you know just doing nothing and then this is very very typical for AMD um, and that's an advantage of, of trading the same stocks uh, day in and day out you get to know them you get to know how they how they trade and how the price action typically goes not going to do this every time but the, but this is um, very typical for uh, AMD anyway it started to come back up again I took one contract I had again I had four contracts so I took one off here at 918 probably right here yep as it was uh, finally breaching above the 20 EMA and approaching the 50 took one off um, a little pullback and then nice higher low here um, and started to come back up so I took one off here at 9.29 probably here nope right right there um, VWAP was kind of acting like resistance so I sized down a little bit there at um, is that 9.30 or 9.29? I don't know. It's not super important. Anyway, so took another one off there. I may have had a limit order, I think, at that point. Just trying to size down and take a little bit more profit. Um, down to two contracts and 9.47. Took another one off. nice green candle there hit the market sell for a single contract and got almost the almost the top tick of that candle uh, the high of that was uh, was 952 or 252 and I sold one for 251 so beautiful um, and then and then we were above the VWAP and cruising higher so um, 
I had that 9725 um, target in mind and actually uh, actually went a bit higher um, so I took that last contract off here at 952 right there um, not sure if I top ticked it top tick was 271 I got 269 so that was it the uh, profit on that trade was 120 and called it a day um, I'm not going to get into the Intel trade I had a basically a break-even trade on Intel made like a few pennies <laughs> um, but I'll get into that another another time. This video is already almost 11 minutes. So, all right, that's it for today. Uh, be sure to click my affiliate link down below and join us at tricktrades.com. Um, if you do use my link, you're going to get the same deal, the same pricing, and everything else um, as if you had just gone straight to the website. So, uh, so please uh, use that affiliate link if you are interested in joining us over at Trick Trades. Uh, make sure to use the coupon code TT20. That's going to save you 20% off your first month of guidance membership. Highly, highly recommend it. And um, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit the like button and we'll see you next time.